Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I am Pastor Shegun Baji. Thank you for tuning in. Did you know you can change anything you so desire? I so said, really? Yeah, you can. The Lord Jesus Christ, the truth himself, says these words. In Mark chapter 11, you start reading from verse 22. Let me quickly give you a background to this. Jesus had cursed the fig tree, and then the following day, Peter called the attention of Jesus and the disciples to the fact that the fig tree had dried up from the roots. And then Jesus answering says unto them, have faith in God. <laughs> Glory to God. In other words, he did that by faith in God, confidence in God. His confidence in God got that dramatic result. Hallelujah. And then he began teaching them something remarkable that we have to give heed to. This is it. He says, for verily I say unto you. Now the truth himself is, is, is good enough to be believed. His words are honest because he is honest. And now he's using the word verily, assuredly, certainly. That means, hey, my whole integrity is on the line for this. That means I tell you the truth, nothing but the truth. You can bank on this with everything within you and you will never be denied. That's what it means. He says, for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things he says shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he says. Amazing. So whosoever can have whatsoever he says, if you say it according to what Jesus pre prescribed, what did he prescribe? He says, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be removed, be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, meaning he's speaking from his faith, speaking from a rock solid conviction on the inside. Praise God. You know, this is amazing. You can change anything. When you get God's word for it, that's the step, the first step to take. Get God's word for it and get it into your inner consciousness and let it be rock solid on the inside such that you cannot see anything contrary to it. And then you say what you believe, addressing that situation that you intend to change. And when you speak in that confidence and from that confidence in God, you will alter the course of nature and that thing will be changed according to your word. Praise God. You see, with faith, there is no such thing as impossibilities. To the man of faith, all things are possible. So you can change anything by your faith, your confidence in God. And that confidence comes from the word of God. Now, when you get God's word into your inner consciousness and it is rock solid within you as as in conviction, then you can begin to say what you believe and act in line with what you believe. It will alter the course of nature and produce your desire for you. You can change anything you so desire. Glory to God. If you've got God's word for it, then it's a done deal. Praise God. Beloved, today I want you to challenge the status quo and change things in your life, engaging the word of God. For God's word is so potent and can make anything happen according to your faith. Praise God. Amen. Don't forget this. You can change anything that you so desire. I believe you've been blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you.